All right, so in this video, we're going to be checking out the all new Edifier Stack Spirit S3, a new set of flagship wireless headphones from our friends over at Edifier. And I'm here to give you my thoughts after a few weeks of use, but let's go ahead and pull these out of their case. Now, thankfully, they did include a nice carrying case for these guys. So let's go ahead and take them out of there. Boom, just like that. Pop the headphones out. As you can see, they're already folded up. They do fold and rotate. So throwing that out there. We also gonna get a bunch of different, uh, you get your USB-C cable, you get an aux cable in there, uh, airline adapter, some you know traditional books, things of that nature, nothing too crazy, but we'll get that case out of the way. So first and foremost, when we're talking about these headphones, is you know, we'll start, we'll start with just kind of the um, the connection here with the Edifier Stacks Spirit S3. So they are running Bluetooth 5.2 with AAC, SBC, and Aptex Adaptive. And these headphones are also running one of the latest Qualcomm chips. So they are featuring Qualcomm Snapdragon Sound, which is available for compatible devices. Now, what, what devices are compatible with Snapdragon Sound? I can't tell you, because I don't know. I looked on Qualcomm's website and I could not get a straight answer. So hopefully at some point we'll get some clarity on that from Qualcomm as of, the, as of right now, as of the making of this video, I don't know but just wanted to throw that out there. Now, um, additionally, the Stack Spirit S3 also feature multi-point connectivity that allows you to pair them to two devices at the same time. So in my case, at least in my personal use case, I have them paired to a Galaxy S22 Ultra. So if I have a phone call come in, anything like that, it's paired to that. But I also do a lot of my productivity work on my iPad Pro. So I had them paired to that. So it works very well, very seamless. So overall, a very good experience with the multi-point connectivity. Now, when it comes to video latency, so if you're going to watch videos, anything like that, movies or any of that sort of stuff, there is minimal to non-existent latency. It is excellent. And then when it comes to mobile gaming, so if you're one of those people that are playing Genshin Impact, PUBG, Call of Duty, anything like that, the Edifier Stack Spirit S3 also feature a dedicated gaming mode or low latency mode, whatever you want to call it. So overall, the latency on them is almost non-existent. Now, when you're playing a shooting game, you can notice it, but it's barely there so overall for a gaming headphone this is actually a very good wireless option i was um truly truly impressed here um, now additionally another connection option is that we do have a 3.5 millimeter jack right there so you can use them in wired mode if you so wish now one thing that i will notice and this is a, a kind of a major gripe that i have with these headphones is that in order to use them in that wired mode they do have to be powered on so that's one of the things that i'm like wait what so if you want to use them in wired mode they do have to be activated now they have a long battery life and we'll get into the battery life in just a sec but i'm one of those people that feel like these headphones should be able to be used passively let's say for whatever reason you actually somehow managed to kill the battery on these you want to still be able to use them so i don't know if i had a software bug with my stack spirit s3 review sample um so i'm not 100 percent sure there but if you agree with me and if you feel that you should be able to use these headphones passively please feel free to let me know down in the comment section now let's move over to the battery life. So Edifier was claiming 80 hours worth of playback time on a single charge. Now, I don't, this sounds like a lofty claim, but I have a lot of experience with Edifier products, including their headphones. This would not be the first headphone of theirs that easily reaches that number. Now in my personal testing, I actually managed to get 61 hours and 22 minutes, and that was at 80% volume using the Aptex Adaptive Codec. So overall, still 60 plus hours. So that can obviously be improved if we went up to like the AAC codec, lowered the volume a little bit, maybe didn't use gaming mode as much as I did. So if you wanted to run it a little bit longer, you definitely can, but the battery life on these absolutely destroys the other headphones at this price bracket. That includes the XM5s, Bose, anything that you throw at them, um, these are killing them for battery life, for lack of a better word. Now, when it comes to charging the headphones themselves, they do feature a fast charge. So you can plug them in uh, for 10 minutes and that's gonna give you 11 hours worth of playback time. And that's uh, charging via their USB type C port. Now, where, I'm like, wait, wait, where'd they put that port? Where did, where did it go? There it is right there. <laughs> I'm like trying to trying to locate what happened to it. So yeah, so that's a, that's how you're going to charge them up. And then a full recharge. So let's say you actually run them down all the way down to zero. Full recharge comes in just two hours. So pretty quick when it comes to actually charging the headphones themselves. Now, moving over to the controls. As you can see here, I'm going to try to flip these over like that. 
So here is the actual controls for the headphones. So it's essentially a three button layout. You have your cent uh, center multifunction button and then a plus and a minus. The plus and minus that handles your volume control up and down and uh, long pressing on them gives you your skip forward and skip back track. The center button can be play pause, but it's also programmable. So you can do a double tap and a triple tap as well. And the double and triple can be programmed for a couple of different options. Um, I have mine set right now to a double tap with EQ so you can switch through the three EQ settings and the triple tap activates the gaming mode. So that's the way that I have mine set up. So you have the ability to kind of do a little bit of customization there. Um, on top of that, you also get some uh, voice prompts in between, like if you switch to gaming mode, it's gonna tell you. If you switch to a different EQ mode, it's gonna tell you. So you're never kind of guessing as to what mode you're in. Now let's move over to the build and the comfort. So build wise, this is using a plastics and like slash aluminum build, essentially the same kind of thing that you're gonna get from like Sony's XM4s, the Bose QC45. So that's the kind of setup that you're getting on these guys. Overall, it's quite sturdy, very flexible, and you're also getting a, a genuine leather, supposedly, genuine leather headband right here. Now they also come with some leather ear cups, but I went ahead and swapped them out for what they call their um, ice feeling fabric um, ear, uh, ear cups. These actually stay a lot cooler than their leather ones. So this is the one that I opted for. Um, for me, these feel a lot better. It's more comfortable for me personally. So overall that's, that's the one that I like, but you do have both options. And then once again, as you saw earlier, they are fully rotatable. They do fold up. So if you want to have a smaller footprint with your headphones, you have that option. The other thing I like about these is the carbon fiber accents in here. I thought that looked kind of trick. And then you have the SS logo here. That's obviously, you know, obviously going to be for like stacks and spirit. So just kind of throwing that out there. Um, and then also when it comes to clamping force for comfort overall, they're actually quite comfortable. You know, if you can't can't tell I have a huge head. <laughs> so if people that have met me, they're like, damn, this fool got a big ass head. Like, yeah, I, you know, I have a big head. So, um, these actually fit me quite well. So the clamping force isn't too much. Um, it actually feels nice and snug. Like if I decide to, you know, do some activities, they're not going to slip off of my head, but if you feel like they are too, too tight for you, too clampy, um, you can always set them like on a small ball or like a small box that kind of stretches them out. You leave it on there for a few days and you should be good to go. And that works for pretty much any headphone on the market. Now, moving over to the uh, Edifier app. So these do have app support via the Edifier Connect app. I'm not gonna go through and show it here. It just takes a lot of time, but it does work on both iOS and Android devices. And that is gonna give you access to the different EQ modes. On top of that, when you change the ear, uh, ear, uh, ear pads, there are two different EQ modes based on which ear pad you're listening to because the leather ear pads give you a little bit more bass. So it kind of drops it down a little bit. And then when you put these on, it actually boosts the bass a little bit to kind of compensate for the different fabrics. So that happens there. Once again, you have the three EQ modes and you also have the ability to turn the gaming mode on and off. And then obviously there's gonna be a settings where you can do your um, button control customization, uh, firmware updates if they're needed, uh, full reset, anything like that. That's all gonna be available in the Edifier Connect app, which is available once again for both iOS and Android devices. Now let's move over to some of the performance. So these headphones don't have noise cancellation or ambient mode. So we're not going to be talking about that because it's, you know, it's not here. So first let's talk about the volume. So in my testing, I managed to get 107.2 decibels peak. Now that's one of the things where now, just to be clear, let me, let me not mince words. It's more than loud enough for me. Like it's, it's quite loud. So I'm usually listening to these like 50, 60%, something right around there. So no issues with volume whatsoever. Um, not the loudest held, sorry, not the loudest headphones out there, but considering the sound signature that these have, you most likely won't be listening to these at full volume anyway. Now, moving over to the actual sound quality itself. So what we're talking about here are planar magnetic headphones. So this is not going to be the same thing that, you know, as what you're going to get if you got something like the Sony XM5s. So the Sony XM5s, they're using a dynamic driver. So the sound signature is going to be different. Normally with a dynamic driver, when it comes to bass, you're going to get more punch to it. It's going to feel a little bit more vibrant. For some people, it's a bit much, but that's what most people are accustomed to. With a planar magnetic, you're going to have a much more accurate sound. So that's really, really what it comes down to here. Now in this video, I'm not going to be doing any comparisons or, or sorry, I'm not gonna be doing any rankings in this particular video um, for time's sake. But if you want to know any comparisons or how these stack up against other headphones, let me know down in the comment section. If I get enough requests in the comments, then I'll actually make a comparison and ranking video against some of the best headphones on the market because, uh, you know, from the sound quality of these, they definitely can compete 
for sound quality. So let's break down the sound. So the Stack Spirit S3 offered three different sound modes within their app. So you get classic, which is a warmer sound, rich vocals, uh, really made for music enjoyment. Then there's the hi-fi mode, which expands the sound stage. It makes it more three-dimensional, that type of thing. Really good for watching videos or movies or for gaming. And then they have their Stacks EQ, which is just pure accuracy. It's more neutral. It's more of flatter sound. It's more for monitoring, things of that nature. So if you want something much more accurate, then the Stax EQ is the one for you. Now, for me personally, I liked the classic EQ. That was my favorite. It had more warmness, more richness to it, a little bit more depth to the bass. So overall, it sounded better to me. But the words of the day when it comes to the sound quality on the Edifier Stax Spirit S3 is going to be crisp and clear. So let's break it down a little bit. So when it comes to bass response, we have tight, accurate bass. So these are not a bass head headphone by any means. The bass punch is different from what you get from like Sennheiser or Sony. So that said, there's still excellent bass extension here with the right songs. And one of the right tracks that I used to test the bass response was a song called North CAC by G Yamazawa. Now you have to wait for the 40 second mark for the bass line to kick in so you can see what I mean, but they rumble with the right songs. Now, moving over to the mid range of the Stack Spirit S3, this is where these headphones truly, truly shine. Rich and warm, yet still smooth and well controlled. There's vocal clarity here that's excellent and it never gets muddied by any of the bass response. Now, if anything, the mids here are gonna be more forward than most other wireless headphones on the market. And, you know, I'm one of those people that really like a more mid forward type of sound. I want my headphones to be more mid-range heavy, putting it that way. So this is what really makes these stand out against some of the other headphones that are available um, at this price range from any manufacturer that you throw at them. Now, when it came to testing the mid-range, uh, the song I used here was Love's Train, uh, the cover by Silk Sonic. Now the whole track shines here, the male vocals, the instrumentation, you can like listen to the live version with these. It is overall beautiful. And you never hear the vocals getting mixed up with the band's instruments. It always sounds natural and accurate. And that's the key here. Now, moving over to the treble. And in the treble here on the Stack Spirit S3, it is a clear treble response. There's a hint of airiness with some of my test tracks. There's excellent detail in the sound that is unmatched by some of the other offerings at this price. The instrument uh, separation here is also solid if you like listening to classical music. There's a wide sound stage here for a closed back headphone. And that was the one that really got me where I was like, I did not expect width like this out of this kind of a close back. So very, very surprising here. Um, now the test track that I used here for the Stack Spirit S3 is September by Earth, Wind and Fire. So some of my old school cats, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's one of the, that's a, just an amazing, amazing song. You wanna wait for the 48 second mark for the chorus to really kick in so you can hear the details in the backing vocals and how crisp the horns and the snare sound at the same time. They never get mixed up. Everything has its place in that sound field and it's absolutely beautiful. Now, if I have to give the Edifier Stax S3 any sort of constructive criticism, firstly, and obviously is gonna be the fact that we don't have an you know active noise cancellation or an ambient mode. Now, I'm guessing that this is because Edifier didn't want ANC getting in the way of sound quality. So for those who are unfamiliar, active noise cancellation is known to negatively affect sound quality on many headphones and true wireless earbuds. But at the very least, I would like to have seen an ambient mode to at least maintain like situational awareness while you know, you're out and about wearing these headphones. Um, secondly, the fact that we don't have a fully customizable uh, EQ in the app, and I will always advocate for more customizability with all of these products, regardless of the company, regardless of the type of product, I want more customizability. Now, the reason I really bring this up here is because we know that Edifier can do it. We saw this with their Neo Buds Pro. They have an actual EQ in there that you can adjust. You can even share your EQ settings with other people. If they can do them on the Neo Buds Pro, we should be able to do them here. I think, I think you guys would agree. Now, last but not least, the pricing. So the pricing here at $400 puts them head to head with the Bose uh, 700s, the Sony XM5s, et cetera, et cetera. If you go by features, then the edifiers are gonna lose because they're not as feature rich. But if you go by sound quality and battery life, the edifiers win. It puts them over the top. That sound quality is that good. So it will ultimately come down to how much you value sound quality over that rich feature set. Um, so now let's jump into some mic samples. I'll be 
putting up the uh, the Stack Spirit S3 up against the Sony XM5 in this test so we can see how they stack up against the very best microphones on the market at this, at this time. Um, let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, and here we have the microphone quality test for the Edifier Stax Spirit S3. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously, I'm indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone sample test for the Sony WH-1000XM5. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously, I'm indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the Edifier Stack Spirit S3 in a simulated crowd noise environment. So something like a crowded bar, a busy restaurant, or something along those lines. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the Sony WH-1000XM5 in a simulated crowd noise environment. So something like a busy bar, a crowded restaurant, or something along those lines. So, testing, testing, one, two, three. As always, you're going to have to be the judge of the microphone quality down in the comments section. Now, ultimately, the high price makes the Edifier Stack Spirit S3 uh, tough to recommend for most people. But if you're after top tier sound quality in a wireless headphone like this, then the S3 are gonna be the right ones for you. Now, with all of that said, Edifier sent out the Stacks uh, Spirit S3. Sorry, let me re let me redo that. Get a live error here. With all that said, Edifier sent out the Stacks Spirit S3 for testing and review. However, there was no monetary compensation involved, and Edifier were not afforded any copy approval or early access to this video prior to it being published. Now, I'm telling you this because I believe in transparency with you as the viewer. As always, please be sure to watch multiple reviews before making that final purchase decision. But if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on the aforementioned Sony XM5, then check out the video that I'm going to leave for you right up here on the screen. With that said, my name is Hefe, and I'm out this bitch.